In today's video, we'll take a look at a 2011 Chevrolet Impala LT. This Impala is finished in the Summit White exterior color. On the driver's door panel, you have a reflector, storage area, you've got your power door locks, as well as the power controls for your windows and mirrors. This LT comes with the gray cloth interior. And now, let's go ahead and start her up. In most cases, the Impala has served as Chevrolet's flagship full-size car. The Chevrolet Impala first appeared for 1958 as the top-of-the-line trim level of the Chevrolet Bel Air Coupe and Convertible, known as the Bel Air Impala. But the next year, when the Chevrolet lineup was redesigned, the Impala was no longer just a trim level, but was now its own model, positioned above the cheaper Bel Air and Biscayne at the time. From then on, the Impala would be produced for numerous more generations up until 1985, which by then the Impala was in its sixth generation. After a nine-year hiatus, the Impala made its return for 1994 and lasted through 1996 as the Impala SS, which was a four-door muscle car based on the fourth-generation Chevrolet Caprice and featured a slightly detuned version of the LT1 V8 out of the Corvette. Then for 2000, the Impala once again made its return for its 8th generation, but this time as a front-wheel drive unibody sedan, a first for the Impala. From there, the full-size Impala would last three more generations. Now as you know, crossover SUVs have absolutely exploded in popularity, and many consumers are no longer buying sedans, especially full-size ones like the Impala. So unfortunately, 2020 is set to be the final model year of the Chevrolet Impala before it is discontinued just about one year after Ford ended production of their full-size Taurus. In its heyday, the Impala was extremely popular. In fact, it is actually the best-selling Chevrolet model of all time, with over 16 million sold as of 2015. It also holds a record of the best-selling American car during a single year, having sold about 1,047,000 units in 1965 alone. This 2011 model we have here represents the ninth generation Chevrolet Impala, which began for the 2006 model year. This generation of the Impala actually lasted quite a long time, with virtually no major changes at all. For 2014, the completely redesigned 10th generation Impala debuted, but the old 9th generation Impala continued to be produced for three more model years until 2016, badged as the Impala Limited to set it apart from the redesigned 10th gen Impala. So the 9th gen Impala was produced for 10 straight model years with very little changes. The biggest changes it did receive were for 2012, when it got some very minor exterior updates, 
and the old cast iron pushrod V6 engines were replaced with a more powerful and modern aluminum block 3.6 liter dual overhead cam V6. The old 4 speed automatic transmission was also replaced with a new 6 speed. The 9th generation Impala rides on the 3rd generation General Motors W platform, which it shares with the final generation Pontiac Grand Prix sold from 2004 to 2008, the 1st generation Buick LaCrosse slash Allure from 2005 to 2009, as well as the facelifted final generation Chevrolet Monte Carlo two-door coupe from 2006 to 2007. By 2016, it was very dated, but it still served its purpose well as a simple, respectable, and reliable full-size sedan. The 9th Gen Impala was also offered as a police vehicle. Trim levels for the 2011 Impala include the base LS, followed by the mid-range LT as shown here, and the range-topping LTZ. The LS and LT models are powered by a 3.5 liter V6 making 211 horsepower and the LTZ comes with a 3.9 liter V6 with 230 horsepower. As mentioned before, the following model year for 2012, both these engines were replaced in favor of a 300 horsepower 3.6 liter V6, which was offered on every trim level. Competitors for the 2011 Impala include other full-size flagship sedans like the Toyota Avalon, Nissan Maxima, Ford Taurus, as well as the Dodge Charger and Chrysler 300. In Chevrolet's 2011 sedan lineup, the full-size Impala is slotted above the mid-size Malibu. It has a four needle gauge cluster with an information display. Hazard light switch on top of the steering column. It has a four spoke design, leather wrapped and multifunctional steering wheel. You've got the controls for your cruise control. And then on this side, you've got your radio controls along with your hands-free phone and voice commands. The steering wheel is tilting. Your headlight controls, traction control on or off, brightness adjustment and your trunk release. And here you have your turn signal, high beam, and wiper controls. Going down the center of the dashboard, the interior does feature this wood grain accenting. You have air vents. Right here are the controls for your information display, passenger airbag indicator, you have your radio head unit, it does have a CD player and an aux port. On the LT trim you do get dual zone climate control with all the controls located right here. Very simple with your fan speed, air conditioning, recirculation, temperature, and your different zones. You have storage down here with a power outlet. And does have a floor shifter, but the shifting pattern is actually in the gauge cluster as if it was a column shifter. Right here you have two cup holders and you have a center console, another power outlet inside it.
Both of the sun visors do have vanity mirrors and lights. And now we'll go ahead and roll down the driver's window. The driver's window is automatic down. And we'll have a look at the engine. The vehicle's parking brake is foot operated. The fleet version of the Impala LT, known as the 2FL, comes with these 16-inch, 5-spoke alloy rims. The 2011 Impala LS and LT are powered by the Impala's base engine for 2011, that being the LZE 3.5 liter overhead valve, 12 valve, naturally aspirated V6 with variable valve timing. It produces 211 horsepower at 5800 RPM and 216 pound-feet of torque at 4000 RPM. The sole transmission for the 2011 Impala is a 4-speed automatic with low gear selection, and the Impala is front-wheel drive. The engine is flex-fuel compatible, so it can run on either regular unleaded or E85 ethanol. It has a 17.5-gallon fuel tank, and while running on regular unleaded, the Impala with the 3.5-liter V6 gets an estimated 18 mpg city and 29 mpg highway. These numbers do drop if you run the car on E85. As mentioned before, the Impala LTZ comes with the larger 3.9 liter V6 making 230 horsepower and 235 pound-feet of torque. It has a McPherson strut front suspension and a multi-link rear suspension. It has four-wheel disc brakes with the front ones being ventilated. The fuel cap is located on the driver's side, and the yellow fuel cap does indicate that this vehicle is flex fuel compatible. On the rear door panel, you have more storage, and your rear power window control.
rear passengers do get a storage compartment right here. The front passenger seat does have a storage pocket on the back. Also grab handles back here. And your rear overhead lighting. There is no folding rear center armrest. single exhaust the trunk of the Impala has a capacity of 18.6 cubic feet And that will conclude this tour of this 2011 Chevrolet Impala LT. Thanks for watching.